can't have McDonald's without orange high C. That's why I'm glad they bought it back. Ooh. I bought me some breakfast earlier in orange high C. <clears throat> and I feel like anytime I get a fish fillet meal, I gotta have orange high C. Now I can I can do without soda, but juice, give me my juice. What's up, everybody? It is Roche Ball, y'all, and welcome back to my gentle. Hi, you guys. And as everybody know, I stay rolling my eyes. Happy Fry Fry, y'all. It is Friday, the last day of the kids' testing. And let me tell you guys what happened. First things first, I'm going to the prom. Let me tell you the story. So last Sunday, I took a nap. I was just feeling a little stressed out, and I think there was a scoop of depression that was in there. That's why I need counseling quick. Um... And I ain't afraid to say it. I need therapy. And it's not because you crazy. It's not because I'm crazy or nobody's crazy. It's just to make sure you have mental stability. That's what it's for. And sometimes you just need to talk to people you don't know. Because if you talk to people that you do know, they're gonna only y'all going to only be sharing mutual feelings back and forth. And there will be no solution. Sometimes there's no solution. And we don't think, well, let's just pray about it. We don't think that first, you know. Most of the time we don't. Well, to be honest, I don't, and I need to start doing that. But let me tell you guys what happened. So last Sunday, I decided to take a nap. Um, I got up early. I started doing some of my homework, and I just said, you know what? I'm just not getting it, and I was stressed out about not being able to go to the prom or whatever before I even before I even asked. So I went to bed. I was like, let me just try again. So I took a nap from 12-something all the way to 2-something, and I had two dreams. Both were at school. Now, the first one, I'm not sure what that was about. Some guy wanted to ask a girl out in some kind of way. And she was a really cute girl. She kind of reminded me of Tiny from Escape mixed up with the gorgeous Monet. That's a combo. And I'm like, she had a very unusual look and she had piercing blue eyes like Tiny. And some kind of way, I think they end up together or something happened. The dream was kind of weird, but it was at school. And... The second part of the dream, which I don't know why we have two dreams. One is kind of like, huh? But then the other one is like, okay, this makes sense. So one of the dreams that I had was in this gym right here. Okay? It was in this gym. And they had some stuff backstage for us. And I was like, okay. Or whatever. And I was just in there cleaning. I had this barrel right here. Right there. Excuse me. Right there. Wearing my regular, regular clothes. Like it ain't nothing. And I think it was something going on in the gym, but I'm not sure what it was. Um, I can't really tell you what else happened because certain things I want to keep to myself, you know. But I woke up from that dream like, I got to go to this prom. I got to go to this prom. So when I went to work the next day, which was this Monday that just passed, I inquired about it. And I asked one of the administrative workers at my job. I was like, um, are we able to go to the prom or it's just for the students? She said right away, it's just for the students. It's just for the students. So I'm thinking... Okay, so I was on my Instagram, mad, like, I'm not going to the prom, it's just for the students, you know. I even talked about it a little bit with my family, which is sometimes a mistake if you express it to, to people because you, you know, so I expressed it to God. I, all week I was stressed out about it, so I'm thinking, you know what, let me try to hang around my other coworkers, like the other teachers and stuff, our proctors, to see if they're going to talk about it. And then I would have been like, y'all going to the prom? Oh, we can go to the prom? And yesterday, I told one of my, when we was making root beer floats, I told one of my coworkers, and he was like, I said, you going to make a root beer float? And he was like, no, I'm trying to stay away from sweets until the 18th. And I was like, 18th for the prom? And I was like, you going to the prom? He was like, I think I'm busy on that day. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, because I wanted to go to the prom, but they said I can't go. And it was no they. It was just that one woman that said I can't go. You know, there's always somebody that's trying to stop your stuff, you know. But the thing is, I didn't ask the right person. Anytime there's school activities going on, just like when I asked the principal about going to the Grand Canyon University, I should have been asked her and only her about the prom from the beginning. And then I wouldn't have felt stressed out all week. So from that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and even yesterday, I was contemplating stressed out. I was, you know, sometimes you're about to get a whooping, so you like... You almost kind of live in that fear, like, I um, hope today goes by slow because I don't want to go home and face this whooping. I don't know why I felt that way. And I kept saying today, as I was today, as I was cleaning, I think I thought about it a little bit yesterday. You have not because you ask not. 
And today, I, I said it again, you have not because you asked not. You asked the wrong person. Sometimes it is good to ask again, and this time the right person. Because ain't nobody got no power. I think the principal makes the decisions. She talks it over with the staff. And then they come to a mutual agreement. And then that's how things are done. That's how we're able to still have game night and Valentine's Day dances and all that. Now, I'm not asking to go to the prom every single year. But it's just this one time I wanted to go to the prom. That's it. This time... I did it because more of a personal reason. I have never went to my prom because my last year of high school, I decided to go to an adult school. I never did life school. I was good on school. I repeated the eighth grade. I was supposed to be the class of 2002. I ended up being a class of 2003 because I repeated the eighth grade. And then I said, forget this school. And I ended up taking my GED. I passed it. And I was the class of 2009, I guess. And I never went to my prom because I'm like, what school? Like, done, duh, pfft. And I didn't even go to college right away. I said, I'm, I'm done. All the work that I've been through with school, I'm done. And I never really tried. So never went to my prom. So I always said to myself, if I ever got married, I wanted a prom theme reception. And I don't care about saying that out loud right now. Y'all can take the idea. Who cares? I just wanted some kind of prom, something going somewhere. So before I text her, I said, you know what? I was sitting right here in this room. And I was like, let me just text her. I put... This is what I text her, the principal that is. I text her, I said, good morning. I'm not sure how many tickets are left, um, but if I buy a ticket, can I go to the prom? And that was at 1039 and she texted me back a little later. She texted me back at 11, wait, hold on. I text her at 1039, she texted me back 1131. So I had time to be like, Tiffany, if she says no, that's fine. There'll be other things, whatever. And I said, you know what? Let's not even concentrate on no. Because the worst thing you could hear is not no. The worst thing is not knowing because you didn't ask. So I was listening to Kirk Hart's Peace and Favor, rest up on the Peace and Favor. I was like, yeah, I said, Lord, if something about this dream that I had on Sunday, I got to go. Even if the dream... Even if going to the prom don't turn out to be the way my dream was, it's something about just going, being more involved with the kids so I don't be just known as the janitor. That's it. You know, seeing the kids see me going to the prom, like, oh, my gosh, Miss Tiffany is here. Like, oh, my gosh. And that will make the kids want to be more involved in activities. And the next thing you know, I feel like let me offer to pay for myself to go to the prom because that money that I'll put in can go towards more funding for the kids is you know, to get yearbooks or to get certain shirts made or, you know, funding for them to get buses to go on these trips that they want to go on and stuff like that. So that's how I thought of it. And I'm thinking, okay, I'll do that. And next thing you know, she texts me back and said, she texts me back and said, you can come to the prom without paying for a ticket. And I kept thinking, you have not because you ask not. I kept thinking about that. And I need to find that scripture and, and put it somewhere on this wall. I would like to do something with this wall. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up getting some paper. And when I have free time, I'm going to tape the paper or thumbtack it. And I'm going to start putting different affirmations on it. I'm going to put my favorite stuff on it. And it's going to be my secret vision board. And I say secret because not too many people come in here. But I don't want my vision board to be out loud, you know, but not too many people come in here. No students, no teachers barely come in here, just the maintenance workers and sometimes the other buildings and grounds people. And that's it. But they will know that, yes, I'm a believer. And I also, too, and I'm not doing that just to like, you know, how people like that pray in the synagogues and the Bible says, you know, don't be like the hypocrites and pray all out loud because that's the only rewards you're going to get. Do it in secret and what your father will see, you know, you do in private, he'll make you... I think I'm getting the scriptures mixed up, so I just better be quiet until I get my facts straight. Because I don't want to steer y'all the wrong way or tell y'all something wrong because I'm accountable for that. But yes, and I'm going to the prom. And immediately, I start thanking Jesus. I don't care. I was like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And I tore that corner up because guess what? Something that's small... As me getting to go to the prom, maybe peanuts for somebody. But to me, it's everything. I'm getting out of my shell. 
I want to be more social. Who knows what this prom is going to get me? She may even ask me, well, since this prom turned out great, maybe you could go to the prom every now and then. And I'm not asking to go every year because I would like for sometimes for, you know, not to be seen doing all the time. But if I can go sometimes, like, I also want to go to the Valentine's Day dance. You know, I'm still going to be going to game nights and stuff like that, which I think is happening. And this time I'll stay a little longerly. Um, but I'm going to go to this prom, y'all, and I'm going to have fun. Okay. And I'm going to work on being social. I'm going to work on being social. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm just I'm just so excited. And guess what I did? Before I even found out, I told myself, I'm not going to just depend on what this lady says. Let me ask the principal. And I, as soon as I got paid on Wednesday, I went to Amazon.com and I pushed purchase, place order. And my shoes already came on Monday. I don't know. My shoes came Wednesday. Um, my dress and my earrings and my strapless bras to the dress is coming today, but everything will be here before the 18th. If not, I have a backup dress. No problem. I can go to the mall, go to Walmart, do something, make a crochage or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to this bald headed prom and I'm going to have a, some good time. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to take pictures, but I do not want to take away from what the students you know so sometimes I'm going to be standing by the wall sometimes I'm going to be dancing you know and that's it you know I'm, I'm going to have fun you see what I'm saying and it's just like but what I am going to do is I'm going to see somehow some way if I can contribute to bring in some kind of food some kind of chips or something something you know so that's what I'm going to do So yeah, so I'm going to this prom and I'm going to have fun. And you guys, the littlest things that we are scared to ask about, and it could be like, I want to go to the park and play in the sprinklers with those kids. So I don't know if my mom will let me ask and you shall receive. And if the answer is no, it's because it doesn't mean no. It doesn't mean not yet. Or it can mean mm, you can, but not right now. Or it could mean that's not for you. So I'm training my mind to think no don't mean you can never, ever do it. It could just mean not right now. Or maybe not to that, but to something else I have. You know what I mean? God is the God of many things. You know, not just a supplier, but he's known as many. He can be different things for us. And I'm trying to train myself also to know that God has what I need. I don't have what I need. Like I can't, like in other words, I have what I need, but I can't give myself what I need. I can think I know, you know, but I'm trying to train that way. And the little things that I go through and that I have been through, I'm like, oh yeah, is this just best not to um, take matters into my own hands, you know, and don't be afraid to ask. And now that I know, I can ask the principal. It shouldn't be nothing stopping me. Nothing. That's faith. I bought that dress before I even heard the final yes or no. And I told myself, if the answer is no, and I try to work on having a good attitude about it, like, mm, okay, it's for the kids. And then I was going to be like, well, can I just, you know, do this or do that or, you know, try to find other things. Well, and I said, well, you know, if I'm not going to the prom, I'm going to the Valentine's Day dance. I figure this prom is on a Saturday. It's not going to interfere with the work that I have to do Monday through Friday. And... I want to be able to at least let these kids know that I'm more than just a janitor. So if they see me, they'll know that, oh, Miss Tiffany's here. I mean, not that it's all about me because it's not, but they will, they'll probably bring them out more to do more things. Like we had a pie in the face fundraiser not too long ago. I believe it was in April. I said, I'm being a part of the next one because one of the, one of the teachers asked me, are you going to be a part of it? I said, well, no, I didn't know about it. And she told me, she was like, well, we never really thought about you. And I was like, okay. But I bet you after this prom, mm -hmm, yes. And I'm going to buy a yearbook. And I'm going to buy a yearbook. Yes, and I'm going to buy a yearbook. Don't play me. I want to start being a part of what makes this school what it is. We already got a new employee who's going to be going to Nonsbury Forum with the kids. Not this Monday, but I think the next Monday. So I'm thinking, wait a minute. If he just started... Why can't I ask the principal if I can go to the prom? 
That's on a Saturday. I'm going to the prom. So I will be doing vlog when it comes to that. So starting this weekend, I will be taking all these braids out. And throughout the week, I want to make sure I put a dent in my homework because I don't want to be working on it all weekend like that. I do want to spend an hour doing homework and then an hour taking out my braids and then another two hours doing my homework and another two hours taking out my braids until it's all out. Um, Mondays, I don't really wear makeup and I can even come in here and just. So, yeah, you guys. Just ask. And again, the worst is not hearing no. The worst is not asking and never knowing. That's the worst because it's like. It's a feeling you get when you know you should have asked. Even if you heard no, feel good about you asked, period. That's how it goes. I Hey, I asked. Faith without works is dead. And even at 39 years old, I'm still learning that. So ask. We have not because we ask not. The Bible says it. The reason why we can't do this and do that because we didn't ask about it. So I'm going to keep on asking and I'm just going to be happy. The fact that I ask, even if I hear no, I asked. So you guys have a nice day. I hope everybody enjoyed their week so far. And if your Friday is not a Friday and your Friday is a Saturday or a Sunday or whatever, Friday could be your Mondays. Who knows? Have a great weekend. Have a great rest of your Friday. And remember, we ask, we shall receive. We have not because we ask not. Confess with your mouth and believe that God is the supplier of all of our needs and he has everything that we need, y'all. I'm still training my mind to work that way. I got to get out of his way. I got to get out of my own way. I got to stop being my own blockage. I be sabotaging my own stuff. I was about to sabotage my own attitude. Positivity because I couldn't go to a prom depending off of what one person said that didn't really know what she was talking about. She probably not even going to the prom. And if she is, she's going to see me and I'm sure going to say, hi, girl, we made it. So y'all have a lovely weekend. And I got to get some of this homework done before I get home because I got to stop by Walmart and get a couple of things from Mother's Day. I know last minute, but hey, whatever, right?